everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for tonight's main event. The Blue Corner, fighting out of Louisville, the greatest of all time. Professional record, 77 wins, with 58 knockouts and 8 defeats, coming out of Bay City, Beth Barbie Edge. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is 10 round. Ali's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. How critical is it when you have such a powerful straight right hand like the fighter we're seeing here tonight that you do know how to set the table with that jab? Well, it's very important because that allows you to eat. That gives you a knife and fork. the target of a hook. What a hook by Muhammad Ali. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. A big hook to the head by Muhammad Ali. Ali's on the wrong end of a destructive uppercut. Solid straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Butterbean's right hand scores well that time. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watcher and hammering Hank, the great Henry Armstrong. Never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Last 10 seconds. Cover your head. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Here we go. Round two is underway. Ali's got that look to him like he's ready to fire off, and that time between rounds served him well. Look at that combination by Muhammad Ali. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Muhammad Ali. Ali's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. How about that left hand? The midst of the straight right. Let's see some defense. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Keep working the body. Ali's tagged. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there right at the beginning because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Not much action as he just ties up. 
Punch combo. Effective work with that flush overhand right. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Just start doubling that jab, okay? Double that jab. That will. Three is underway. Ali's come off the stool for this round, and I like the way he looks. Combo lands to the head. Able to dismiss that body shot. Big shot there. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. Showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Nice block. Ali's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab. Great round now, back and forth after he did the hurting. He's the one hurt. Joseph. What a big shot. Ali is rushed. Muhammad Ali went down after eating that power punch. Mm. One, two. Ali's rising back up. That takes some guts. Doubles up the jab to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. To the head he goes with a left hand. The old one-two scores for him. Start of round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Butterbean's been unable to pull away from his opponent so far. It's an even fight. Yeah, it is, and I think you just said it right, unable to pull away. Whoever's going to pull away, if that's going to happen in this fight, it's going to come from the outside. Whoever starts to commit to that jab. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Ali's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent. But first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. 
Butterbean's punch is far off the target. Circle hit, move, move! Ali's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Seconds to go in the fourth. And he returns on that exchange. And round four comes to an end. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's going to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Ali's been stunned. Big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Ali beats the count, looks across the ring at his opponent, and you know that this is going to turn into a big-time fight now. Ali's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Butterbean's showing you a little defensive skill there. And they'll move away from that punch. Goes up top with the right hand. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Get out of the way. focus. Watch the hook. Good block there by Muhammad Ali. How about that exchange? This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. A striking combination by Muhammad Ali. Pace yourself. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Oh, what an exchange. Double up. One gives one. The right hand scores well. Now hugging on the inside. Stay away from those. Come on.
He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Muhammad Ali is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. The the Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Ali's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Ali was able to get right. to his man in that last round. Now he's got some momentum. You know, everyone thinks he's not a puncher, but he puts them together. And he put those punches together where he got the effect he wanted. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. No need to be on the inside. Finish with the hook. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ali's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Good combination by Muhammad Ali. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Butterbean's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. And now another left. Swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Good block by Ali. Hit the box. He's okay. Pay him back. He's tight. He's tight. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Ali's punch didn't come close. Butterbean's doing well here with that two punch combination. And that's the end of round seven. Yeah, keep your distance, right? We got it. You don't have to slug it out with it. Listen, your best defense is to throw more punches. You need to throw more punches. Through eight rounds, Ali's not able to separate himself from his opponent on Teddy's scorecard. They have traded knockdowns. It's been a thriller. Yeah, it's been knockdowns, you're right. But it's been one punch at a time. Whoever decides and gets the confidence, the discipline, to start putting them to... He is damaged badly. Solid. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Blood in the water, and he can smell it. He's going in for the kill. Yes, he is, buddy. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. The fight is over. Muhammad Ali's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the greatest of all
So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's gonna happen. We're gonna wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.